Hi everyone, Paul Gallier here from Age and Opportunity Active. Happy to share the Go For Life games at home with you here today. What I'm going to do um, is explain the two games that we have today and show you pieces, pieces of household equipment or household items that you can use to play the games from the comfort of your own home. So our first game today is a game of skittles. And normally when we're playing this in halls and groups or out in the country, we would use just one skittle pin and a skittle ball. Okay, if you don't have that at home or you don't have it at hand, don't worry, not many people do. And what you can do, you can substitute it, the pin, just with an empty water bottle. And the ball itself, if you have a large orange or a tennis ball, any sort of smaller ball, you can substitute that in. Okay, so that's the equipment that we need. If you don't have that at the minute, you can just pause the video and you can join us once you have it to hand. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just demonstrate the bowling technique that we use for this game. So we start off standing up nice and tall, with our feet just shoulder width apart. Just imagine yourself standing on train tracks. From there, we have the ball in our bowling hand, so it'll be our right hand or our left handed. Place that outside the leg, and then with the left foot, you take a step forward. So if you're throwing, rolling or bowling from your right hand, step forward with your left foot. If you're bowling with your left hand, step forward with your right foot. So we take a step out, then we lift the back heel and slightly drop the back knee. And then we swing our arm back just like a pendulum in a clock. So nice and easy, just slightly behind the body. And then we bring it forward and we roll. Okay. So standing up nice and tall, take a step forward, lift the back knee, slightly drop the back knee, and then we roll the ball away like so. So that's the technique. What I want to show you next is how you can play it at your own home. So normally we would play this um, a few nine meters from your target. Obviously, it's hard to get nine meters around the house. But if you have a, maybe a garden or a hallway, which I'm going to go into now, you can play maybe from two or three metres away, which is plenty, especially if you're only starting off. So come with me. And as you'll see now, I've placed my target on the ground. So my water, empty water bottle on the ground. Roughly now at the minute, I'm about three metres away. But if you're starting off, what I'd suggest is to start nice and close. Get your bowling eye, as they call it, get your bowling eye in. And then as you feel that you're, you're getting more confident, you can take a few steps back each time. So I'm going to start off here today now, about three metres back. And again, just remembering our bowling technique. Number one is stand up nice and tall. Number two is step in front with the opposite foot to your bowling hand. Lift the back heel off the ground, slightly drop the back knee, and then it's a pendulum swing. So bringing the arm back, and as we bring it forward, we release the ball in the direction of the target. So I hope that you're a lot better now than me. I'm hoping that again now. So again, standing in line with your target, take a step forward, lift the back heel, drop the back knee. So that's our skittles game. Again, the best tip I can give you today is start nice and close. And then if you feel that you're getting a lot of strikes, each time you toss the, the bottle or toss the target, it's all out of strikes. So if you find you're getting a lot, you can take a few steps back. Normally how we do it is we set a time, so maybe two minutes, five minutes or eight minutes, and we count how many strikes we get. So try that yourselves at home today, and you can let myself or Peter know how you get on. Hi everyone, Paul here again from Age and Opportunity to show you our second game. So the second game, the second game is a, a game called Molly, and Molly obviously being the Irish for bags, we play it with small little bags like this, of different colours. And what we do, we throw the bag towards a big square board with a hole in the middle of it, so it's a target game. So the aim of the, uh, the, the, aim, or the aim of the game 
is throwing the bags towards the target and trying to land them into the hole. We normally will play for a set amount of time, so maybe two minutes, five minutes or eight minutes, and you'll count the number of bags you get in the hole over the period of time. Obviously we don't have that equipment at home for the time being, so the two substitutes that I want to show you today that you can get around your own home for that game is number one, some sort of a target, such as a bucket or even a saucepan. I don't know what I don't know the cooking going on now these days probably has numerous saucepans, so that is number one. And then to substitute for the bags, pairs of rolled up socks. So what I have here, I just have two different pairs of different colours. Two pairs of black socks, two pairs of white socks. Okay, so that's what we're going to eat. If you don't have that to hand already, that's okay. You can just pause the video and join it back again and again when you're ready. And what I'm going to do now is just to show you the throwing technique. Okay, so again, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you're going to take your rolled up socks in that hand. We're going to stand once again on the frame tracks, so feet shoulder width apart, slight bend of the knees. Okay, the arm is relaxed down to the side, and what we do before we throw, we bend the knees slightly, so we kind of lower down a small bit, and then as we stand up tall, we lift the throwing arm up in front. So slight bend of the knees, as we will come up right then, we lift the arm up. So that's number two. And then three is the throwing or the letting go of the socks. And how we do that, again starting off, number one is slightly bend the knees, number two is come up, raise the arm, and then we let go of the sock at the highest point. Okay, so just to demonstrate that now. And when we're throwing the sock, ideally what we're looking for is a pitch. So if you think of the pitch in a house, in the roof of a house, the sock should go up and come back down and hopefully it'll land in your target. So we're just going to use our target now very, very quickly. We're going to place it to one end of the room. We're going to gather up all our socks. We're going to stand the line of our target and then we're going to go through our three points again. So slight bend of the knees, stand up tall, raise the arm and pitch that sock up in the air. Okay, so we're always aiming towards the target. Hopefully you have a better look at me and get to that. Now we have one out of four there, I hope you have better look. So that's our little technique. And if, if the case means that you find it too tough standing up, you can always use the chair as well. Just sitting down on the chair, sit back in line from the target, the same idea again. The only thing is you're not bending the knees this time. You're just lifting the sock up in the air, getting that pitch. And let it go at the highest point, which is just above the shoulder. So that's the technique. I just want to show you now how you might play it at home. So you might play it in your garden, or you might play it in your hallway, or a room where you have enough space. So the, the distance I'm going to be still back away from the target is three meters. So if you come with me now, I'll show you. Just like the Skittles game, I'd say if this game is new to you, if you haven't played before, maybe start off relatively close to your target, so maybe a meter back. Do a few throws, see how you get on. If you find it too easy, take a few more steps back then. So work with the space that you have in your own home. So I said I roughly have three meters here, so I'm going to stand back three meters from the target, slightly bend the knees, and again that pendulum swing on the arm. And we release at the highest point, looking for the pitch, hoping that the sock will come up and back down into our target again. So let's give this a try. There's one, two, just a slightly wide pitch, just hope it's not wide. And number three, no luck with that one. Okay. So if you'd like to change it up a little bit as well. If you have two different colours of socks, which I have here, the black and the white, what you can do is you can throw one 
color of chalk off the right hand, one color of chalk off the left hand. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to go white off the right hand, the black chalk off the left hand, off to the right again. That's actually that might happen sometimes too. Your target might might take a topple over. So we'll just be prepared for that. And then finally, triangle the black card chalk. Right side of the blade again. Way up and over towards target. So that's our Molly game, folks. Again, you can play that either in the standing position or seated and within whatever kind of space you have in your own home. So I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration of the two games of Skittles and Molly and the adaptations of how you can play those at home. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all in a few weeks um, for playing the virtual games at home. Thanks very much.